Pokemon Legends Arceus has been out for a week now, and the game has been a complete blast for me. I can honestly say it's the most fun I've had with a Pokemon game in years. Its entire outlook is just so different than anything we are used to with a traditional Pokemon game. One of the key differences is of course the bigger premise on capturing Pokemon and the lack of battles. There are still some major battles though with the addition of the deadly Pokemon in the wild. The wild Pokemon of the game are very deadly in their own right, and if you're not careful, they can put a hole in you. So with the hard Pokemon in the wild and the few battles you have to face, what Pokemon are the best to use in Legends Arceus? Today we find that out as I count down the top 10 best Pokemon to use. How I'll be ranking these just comes down to the principle of how they perform as team members, how well they perform in battles, when you can obtain them, and how they overall help out against the Mons of the world. With that said though, I think I've explained enough, so let's just hop into it. Up first is a Mon that I didn't give enough attention to in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, but I had my reasoning for it. In this scenario with Legends Arceus though, I realized that Togekiss has a lot more merit with its excellent typing of Fairy and Flying. With this typing and the excellent move pull it has, it truly brings a lot to the table. There is a question I have to ask though, and that is, why does it not have Aura Sphere? Aura Sphere is an excellent coverage attack. Why would Pokemon take it away? Infernape gets Drain Punch, but Togekiss loses Aura Sphere. You hate to see it. Nonetheless, its stats, move pull, and its great dual typing make it a great contender and a great mon for anyone's team. You can place Togekiss literally anywhere, and it'll do a lot for your team. Up next is a Pokemon that has been a repetitive member of my best teams and lists for quite a while, that Pokemon being Roserade. Roserade is by far the best grass type Pokemon Legends Arceus has to offer, with its excellent special attack, decent speed, and the variety of moves it has to offer. It's got the usual coverage of Dazzling Gleam and Shadow Ball, although I wish it had extra sensory. Roserade can also help out against a few key contenders for the battles you have to partake in. Having strong stab with Energy Ball and Sludge Bomb also make it a foe to reckon with, especially backed up with that 125 special attack. The main reason I love Roserade though is due to how early you can get it. You can capture a Badoo as early as the Crimson Mirelands, and if you're lucky, you can even snag a Roselia at Gape Jaw Bog. So I feel these reasons help establish Roserade at the second slot on today's list. At 8, we have all three starters, being Decidueye, Typhlosion, and Samurott. Now out of all of these, like how I mentioned last week, Samurott is the best out of all of them. I explained that reasoning in my Ranking the Hisui Informs video, so I won't waste any time explaining that here. All three of them are pretty damn close though, and all offer something important from the very beginning of the game till the end. The typings they all have, the moves, and the stats are all very good. The starters honestly carry you through the majority of the game, no matter which one you pick. If you want explanations of all of them, once again, that information can be found in my rankings video. Alright, this next one is going to be Garchomp. Right off the get-go, I will say Garchomp is a powerhouse. I never deny that. And with it being on this list, I think it's further evidence. The reason why it's not higher is simply due to the fact of when you get it in-game. The earliest you have access to Gibble or Gabite is in the Coronet Highlands, and you can acquire a level 85 Alpha Garchomp later as well. But that's the last place in the game you have to go. There's also the fact that Garchomp lost access to its most powerful ground type attack. The best ground type move it gets in this game is Bulldoze. But despite these flaws, it still makes number 7. It's still a very powerful contender with its massive attack stat and speed. Although in my eyes I believe, there is a slightly better option than Garchomp. And I'd like you to hear me out on this one. Mm -hmm. 
Closing out the first half of this list is Rhyperior. Now, I can already see a lot of people being pretty shocked by this, but please hear me out first. Rhyperior is a great mon in the respect of being a physically defensive tank. Rhyperior rocks out with base 140 attack and 130 defense. And while it isn't speedy, it doesn't really have to be. Rhyhorn is available in the Crimson Mirelands, giving you pretty early access into your adventure. You'll have to get a protector one way or another to get Rhyperior, and of course level 42 is when Rhyhorn evolves. But thankfully, it's such a good Pokemon in the grand scheme of things that waiting for Rhyperior to eventually come isn't a hassle. On top of the early game availability, let's take a look at this thing's move pool. Look at everything it gets on the physical end. I really do think for this in-game scenario, for how Legends Arceus is, Rhyperior really shines. And I can say, I think people underestimate it a lot. That's why I think that it's slightly better than Garchomp in this scenario. Starting the second half of the list is Gengar. Usually Gengar wouldn't be on a list like this due to trade evolution. However, Legends Arceus was generous enough to make trade evos a lot easier to get. Gengar, I think, is pretty easy to see why it's in the top five. For one, Ghastly can be obtained as early as the Crimson Mirelands. But undoubtedly, the best part about Gengar is its stats and move pool. For a ghost type, this purple shadow will slay anything. Not having trade evos really helped Pokemon like Gengar out. So that's why it's number five. At the fourth spot, we have Ursaluna. Bottom line, with its attack stat of 140, stacked move pull, and defenses, to me, this makes Ursaluna the best normal type, even topping Snorlax. The additional ground typing really helped out this mon to dish out some really amazing power. Ursaluna's main stab options are Giga Impact and High Horsepower. And with coverage moves like the Elemental Punches, it helps out Ursaluna with its weaknesses fairly well. Not to mention with Giga Impact, Recharge is no longer a thing. So that's another really fantastic thing. Ursaluna is definitely an interesting Pokemon, and I think it's worth putting in the top five. In the top three is the best starter for the Sinnoh region, being Infernape, and it's back again in this ancient land of Hisui. I'm sure you've heard me talk about Infernape before multiple times, so I'll keep this short. Infernape is the best fire type you can get in Hisui, along with the fighting type. Not to mention now, it has access to Drain Punch. This is the best thing that could have happened for Infernape. Honestly, this was huge for Infernape, and it gets health back as well. But along with its great stats being a mixed attacker, plus the decent coverage it has, and the phenomenal Drain Punch, I think we can see why Infernape is in the top three. Infernape is just fantastic, and honestly, one of the best starters out there. At the penultimate spot, Hisui and Gudra steps up to the plate, and damn did they give this mon a great typing. Hisui and Gudra, being Dragon Steel, gives it the same typing as Dialga. And that's huge. The typing only has two weaknesses, that being to ground in fighting. Gudra is also a defensive behemoth, with both of its defensive stats being over 100. These two factors should already have sold you on Hisui and Gudra. But in case it didn't, its move pool is also fun to experiment with. It is a dragon type though, so that's pretty much expected. Dragon and Steel is a typing that can fit in with anyone's team though, and the typing is probably the biggest reason why I put Hisui and Gudra at the number two slot. And at the number one slot is a rather surprising option, and the choice I made was Gardevoir. Firstly, I'll explain why Gardevoir is here, and I'll explain Alakazam in just a second. Gardevoir in Legends Arceus has a humongous pool of moves to choose from, and the addition of the Fairy type gives it the slight edge over Alakazam in my opinion. Guardi still has excellent special attack and all right speed. 
but with the attacks it now has access to, including Ice Beam and Mystical Fire, I feel this barely edges it out on Alakazam. Mystical Fire is what every fairy Pokemon wants. It's a big piece of coverage. But when I mean it barely edges Alakazam out, I mean literally by a hair. Alakazam is honestly tied with Gardevoir at the number one spot. Alakazam still has those monstrous stats, and its move pool is still really good. But one thing I also forgot to mention was that Alakazam lacks Thunderbolt, and Gardevoir does have it. And that's literally the reason why I feel Gardevoir outshines Alakazam by just that hair. But honestly, let's just count both of these Pokemon at the number one spot though. Because their power, no matter which one you look at, can't be denied. Well, that wraps up what I believe to be the top 10 best Pokemon to use in Legends Arceus. I feel really confident in how this list turned out, but I'm sure some could be debated in some areas. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts on my list down below, and also be sure to tell me what you consider the best Pokemon in Legends Arceus to be. Also be on the lookout for more Pokemon Legends Arceus content for the remainder of the month. Trust me, this month is going to be jam-packed. Hey hey guys, thank you for enjoying another Mystic Umbreon video. It's exciting times for the Pokemon franchise, and I look forward to the coming months where it just keeps getting better. If you guys are wanting some more bite-sized Mystic Umbreon content, please check out my TikTok, where I upload daily, as well as the Mystic Umbreon Shorts channel. If y'all enjoyed the video and want to see more content like this, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Be sure to leave a comment too, it really helps us out. I think it's time to wrap this up though. I'm Mystic Umbreon, and I'll see you next time with some more amazing Pokemon content.